The ACR Research and Education Foundation was established in 1985, born of the desire to expand the field of rheumatology and ensure its future by funding a peer-reviewed research and training grants program. It's really established as a way to uh, raise funds to support uh, people developing careers in research uh, and developing careers in, as rheumatologists. And seeing how this formation of the foundation that would help support education and research would be important to the future of rheumatology was prescient, was important, and has had great benefits for the specialty and ultimately for our patients. Over the last decade, with support from the rheumatology and patient communities, as well as our partners in industry, the REF has invested more than $50 million directly into its mission priorities. And that significantly increases uh, the number of people going into rheumatology if there's much more money there and there's much more opportunity. Today, the REF is recognized as the only national nonprofit focused on rheumatology career development and disease targeted research. You talk to people in academic rheumatology, and almost all of them have been touched in some way by the REF. Without the REF, we would not have enough rheumatologists to take care of the number of people with arthritis in the future. In recent years, it's become apparent that the demand for skilled, trained rheumatologists could soon exceed the supply. We had projections of my generation retiring with a huge exodus of rheumatologists out of the specialty and nobody in the pipeline to replace them. The community needs not only community rheumatologists but the resources in the academic institutions to help train the next generation of rheumatologists. So we need to do everything we can to try to increase the number of people in training to try to meet that demand. Recruiting and training future rheumatology clinicians, educators, and researchers is the key to advancing patient care and remains a top priority. There's a direct correlation between the rise in funding uh, from, the, from the REF for uh, fellowship training and the numbers of fellows going into training. The REF awards allow for training, for, for fellows, for mentoring activities. These early career awards are, are entirely critical to allowing one to persist. It's so hard to get funding right now. People will end up walking away because they can't support themselves in their research careers. The REF has made a huge difference for a number of young investigators. In research circles, the REF is sort of that angel fund to really get you going in the uh, direction you want. These early grants are, are early milestones of success. The ACR REF provides the opportunity to initiate and to sustain a challenging and fulfilling career in rheumatology. Arthritis and inflammatory rheumatic disease is the number one cause of disability in the U.S., more than heart disease, cancer, or diabetes. So rheumatoid arthritis is one of our major illnesses. It belongs to us. We treat it more than anybody else. We diagnose it more than anyone else. We're doing research in it more than anybody else. And even though there are new treatments out there, there's still a huge need for um, cure and we still don't understand the cause of it. Funding innovative research focused exclusively on rheumatoid arthritis and related inflammatory rheumatic disease is essential to accelerating discoveries that can lead to cures. We've looked at innovative research, research that would not be funded by the government and allows the government to see, have some insight on where the future treatments of rheumatoid arthritis uh, will uh, be uh, advanced. They're willing to sort of take a risk and uh, with the idea of being high risk, high benefit. I think they allow us to, to make advances in our field much faster. You know, instead of thinking about decades ahead to, to uh, envision and put together projects and have them see them to fruition, that we can do things in a few years. Hopefully we'll continue to uh, raise funding, to raise awareness, to bring people together, support innovative ideas, and, and push the field so that we can uh, cure the disease. To continue the momentum gained in recent years, 
the REF has a bold vision and a focused plan to ensure an adequate supply of rheumatology health providers, develop the next generation of rheumatology researchers, and accelerate targeted inflammatory arthritis research. The needs are, are extreme and diverse. We need to expand the pool of practicing rheumatologists. We need to, at the same time, expand the pool of physician scientists and academic rheumatologists. And if we want our field to survive, one of the things we need to do is make sure the REF is alive, vibrant, and rich. And I think right now we're at a crossroads where we can really continue to propel the field forward with exciting new therapeutic options. Um, uh, and the REF is going to play an instrumental role at keeping that momentum uh, going. Forging a path to the cure of rheumatic disease is a long and multifaceted journey, a road worth traveling. Together we can advance patient care today while accelerating the course of research that will yield tomorrow's cures. Our hope is for safer, more effective treatments in the future for our daughter. And possibly a cure. And I think that it will be within my lifetime when we can say to patients that we can stop this illness and even cure it. Thanks to you, the REF will continue to attract the best and the brightest into the subspecialty of rheumatology and ensure the future of rheumatic disease care for patients. Without your support, Innovative research in rheumatoid arthritis and other rheumatic diseases would not be possible. Thanks to you, we're helping to ensure the future of rheumatology. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Thank you so very much.